I've been doing this for four years, keeping it hidden. I, I've done nothing about it. Hey guys, it's the Game Bid here, and today we're here with a brand new video. And in this video, well, I'm going to talk to you guys about something that's very personal to me and I thought to get it to you guys as in the past few videos I've mentioned this but never fully explained so in this video I'm going to fully explain to you basically something that's very personal to me um, that I've, that's been overcome but I, I just thought to let you guys know so basically guys this is basically me talking about why I started YouTube and the whole reason why I'm doing it but I still but even if I didn't have this situation I'll probably still do it anyway because it's a very enjoyable thing to do but anyway guys it's kind of a life story I suppose as you could say but it all started when I was in year 7 um, so basically when I was 11 well not 11 12 uh, yeah when I was 12 uh, when I was 12 I was I, I suppose you could say diagnosed I'm not sure but something like that, I found out that I had a skin condition called psoriasis. Uh, basically, it's caused by stress or depression. Um, so I'll see, I, had, I, I go to school um, with this. Uh, basically, for the first year, year seven, I was fine. I was completely fine. But I had it, but it didn't show kind of thing. Uh, it came to year eight and it started to show because I got stressed uh, because of school um, and then because of that I I basically I suppose you could say I got bullied um, in the start of year 8 I got bullied uh, very very much <laughs> I, I was literally nowhere I had no one to be honest I was, I was lost um, so at that stage I had a YouTube but it wasn't this account it's just a YouTube that I just made, well, <laughs> very non-edited videos about just random games. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was something to do. It made me overcome my fears of going to school and getting bullied kind of thing. Um, came to year 9, um, it got worse, really worse. And I literally got bullied so hard that I then got anxiety. Um, so yeah, because of the bullies at school... I developed and got anxiety as well so bear in mind I've got depression and stress and anxiety um, that's when I made my the gaming Buddha account uh, this is where I got a PC I got the Elgato I got my editing app I was like do you know what I really want to do something that makes me happy I really want to do something that can take my mind off all this stuff and I did and I started YouTube it, it was something very fun to do. This was at the time when Black Ops 3 was popular. So I, I got a decent amount of views on my montages, which made me ever so happy. That's the only thing that kept me going, to be honest. But it still didn't stop anything at school. Like, I'd get bullied every day. I had sly comments, and I'd hear it, and they think that I can't. But well, I'm not fucking stupid. And it just got worse and worse. It's like I wake up every morning, like always thinking about the negative things. Like I never think positive. I never think positive of myself anymore because of it. And I find it really annoying because it put my confidence down. It put everything down, and that was the reason why I had hoodies, long hair, everything like that because of my skin condition. Uh, it came to year ten. Um, I suppose you could say it was going, but the bully got. The bully, the bullying got worse. I, it was even more, and it was from the same people repetitively. It's at this point, I always had the thoughts of, yo, know, do I kill myself or do I cut myself? Do I cry myself to sleep? I cried myself to sleep quite a lot. Um, never, I never cut myself or never attempted to kill myself. Uh, but <laughs> there was a lot of times where I wanted to, and still to this day. I feel like it. Um, it's 
I suppose it's me just saying bullying is actually a very strong thing. Like, I've been through it for four years and it's still going to this day. Like, I don't have it anymore. Well, I do have it, but it doesn't show anymore. It just, it's just scars now. I've got scars on my arms, legs, back. Luckily, not my face. Um, but I still get bullied for it. In Well, I'm year 11 now. I still get bullied to this day. And at my age, like, it really does hurt me. Because this is my last year at school, you know. I want to focus. I want to get the grades I can get. But then I've got the fucking ignorant bastards who are there making sly comments. And like these people, they're just like they're the type of people that you know they think they're all this because they basically bully people for popularity, I suppose you could say. And like it's the people that do it, it really pisses me off. The type of people that do it because they're ones, they're the people who literally have no lives. They literally, I hope they do shit in school. I hope they get nowhere in life. I actually hope karma hits them so bad. To be honest, like. I really want someone to just live a day in a life of me, of my condition. I'll just love them just to live it, you know, because, like, it's serious, you know. And, like, thanks to my clanmates, to be honest, they've, they've been very supportive because I told them about it because I thought they needed to know. And But now I want, I want everyone to know. I know most of my mates know, but I want everyone to know that I do struggle with depression, stress, and anxiety, and whenever I get bullied, it actually really upsets me in school, like, I've gone through a whole day at school wanting to cry, like, nearly most days, but I don't, I wait till I get home, like, some people probably say, oh, that's pathetic, yeah, probably is pathetic to the ones that have no lives, like, Everyone has feelings, and people are just there bullying you, thinking it's fucking funny. It's really not. Just, oh, I really hope that they fucking fail in life, to be honest. Like, the next time someone bullies me in front of my face, I actually will go mental because I've actually had enough of it. Like, I've been doing this for four years, keeping it hidden. Like, I've done nothing about it. I said if I'm just do YouTube, that's all I've done about it. Now I understand why teenagers kill themselves and risk their own lives, to be honest, because it does actually get in their head and it's actually really bad. But sorry guys for the depressing video, but you know, I'm depressed every day, so I'm sure you can deal with one depressed video. <laughs> but anyway guys, I am bringing back the gaming content on my channel, as I said last video, make sure you go check out the last video. And yeah guys, road to 400, we're about 62 subs away from 400, and we have about 3-2 months. Hopefully we can get there guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Drop a like on the video, comment down below some video ideas as usual, and until then guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.